All right, so let's get into so the... So let's test it out. Let's get into the command prompts. All right, now it's in the um, webit.net. Let's go to the, the desktop. So we'll kind of do the same thing that we've been doing. Let's make a directory called, what do you want to call it, Java? Yeah, we'll just call it Java. Right. Java. Java. Now let's see here. Let's see. Can we run Java C? Yes, we can. Hey, look at that. Can we run Java? Cool. Yes, we can. Nice. Okay, now we're making the assumption that you find people have followed our other tutorials, and if you haven't, well, screw you. <laughs> we're gonna go. <laughs> we're gonna open up our trusty Notepad plus plus. Right, and you can use Notepad or whatever whatever no, text editor you're comfortable Notepad. with. But Notepad plus plus is awesome. So let's uh, go ahead and save as onto the desktop. We'll go to Java, and we'll make a Hey Buddy. Dot Java. Okay. Cool. Nice. So the first thing we're gonna do, Brian, is we're gonna define our class. Okay, so let's call it, uh, yeah, hey buddy. Why not? Hey buddy. And since this is, and we'll talk more about this later, but since this is a public class, the Java code file has to be called the same name as the class. We'll That's talk, true. we'll talk more about that later. So here's yeah, our yeah, public. So public static. Yep. Which means it's not on an instance mm -hmm. of this class, it's just, it's just on the class. Mm -hmm. And then void, it doesn't return anything. And then it has to be called main, and that sets this as the entry point to the class. Right. So that means that this will execute naturally from hey buddy. Yep. And then we can get their args. And, and we'll go into this later. Okay. So just like we were kind of expressing in that the um the hey buddy, we um in the hey buddy code that we looked at in these slides, we're gonna uh -huh. be calling the system class, and we're going to be interacting with a static instance of a print stream called out. Okay. And, it, nice. and inside of this static field, there is a method called print line. Ooh. And in in there's many overloads, but one of the overloads is it will accept a string. So we can just say hey, hey buddy. Hey buddy. Right? Yeah, cool, we're done. We Let's can test save it this out. file. Hopefully. So when we go to our command prompt, we can do Java C, which is the Java compiler. Yep. Hey buddy mm -hmm. Java. Cool. And look at it go. Yep. So now let's see, do we have a class file? Let's do let's see here. Dir. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at that. Cool. Now, Brian, to execute that class file, we're going Just to call Java. the Java interpreter yep. and mm -hmm. the name of the class without the dot class. Right. Right? So we run that. Hey, hey buddy. buddy. Oh, that's awesome. So we're we're up and running. So that wasn't too tough to get it up and running, nope, right? Nope, nope, nope. We nope. just like download something real quick, open a text editor, and we're good to go. Absolutely.